What is up guys? Welcome back to Creative Readers Etc. I'm Lexi and I have yet another bullet journal video for you guys here today. You are about to watch roughly 10 hours of work concentrated into 13 minutes. This was a very, very detail heavy setup, but I love how it came out. I decided to go with a cottagecore theme as sort of a fun little take on a spring theme or a floral theme since it's May and I feel like that's the thing to do. But I didn't want to do that because I don't want to be boring. So I decided to do cottagecore because I thought it would look pretty and it does. I'm very happy with how it came out even if it did take me an entire day. Yes, I did this all in one day but it was so worth it. It was really fun to do. Uh, it was definitely an exercise in patience and also good practice in painting. And I hope you guys enjoy watching it. I will also say that the quote page, the footage corrupted, so I don't have that, but you'll see it in the final flip through.
corrupted quote page aside, we move now to the calendar page, which as you saw in the last setup, I did use my embossing pen, I think is the right term for it. I don't know. It's called a foil quill, but it basically uses heat to apply gold foil to the page, and I haven't used it in a while since I came to college, I think, and I love it dearly. So I was very excited to get to use it again, and I do use it later on on this page. But basically all I did was do like a little wooden picket fence, and then I drew a cute little cottage and made it foresty in the background. And it was super fun to do, and I really enjoyed the details on this page especially. I think this is one of my favorite calendars that I've done since I started doing this style of calendar. And I just love how it came out, and I love the depth that I was able to create with the forest look. I just, I think it's really cute, and I would live in that house if I could. mushroom theme for my habit tracker I did my very best to draw one of those trees with all of the mushrooms on the side of it I, I don't know the scientific terms for any of this but I love how they look and I really like how it came out it was just like a fun little thing and I also added a couple of more habits because over the summer I'm going to have more things to focus on than I do now at school in terms of my personal life like one of the things I added was staying physically active because I won't be walking to classes every day. I won't have gymnastics to go to, so I wanna make sure that I'm able to do that. So I just added it to my habit tracker as well as like cat litter cause I'll be home with my cat again, things like that. My finance tracker, I wanted to add some floral elements to it and some color to brighten it up a little bit since I'd mostly been using the earth tones up until this point so I did a little bushel of lavender and I just think it's really cute. My stats tracker is rocks and a frog because it's not cottagecore if you don't have rocks and frogs I feel like. So the frog I think came out really cute uh, if you have any name suggestions for him please leave them in the comments. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Those would be those who played fastest. <laughs> and there would be composers who wrote only finales. <laughs> People go to concert just to hear one crashing chord, because that's the end. <laughs>
particular spot in the room. That's where you should arrive. The whole point of the dancing is the dance. Look at the people who live to retire, put those savings away. And then when they're 65, they don't have any energy left, they go and rot in an old people's senior citizens' community. And this is going to bring us to our final flip through. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this setup. I certainly enjoyed creating it, even if it did take me absolute ages. <laughs> it was really fun and I think it's worth it. I love how it came out. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.